Welcome to Rust Programming. This is Ganesh. In this video, we are going to talk about Rust ownership, borrower, stack, heap, and slices. So let's get started. So to start with, I have a variable called O, and it's a data type string object, and the value I have is Rachel Green. So I'm printing the value of O, all good. Then I'm determining the length, that is the number of characters in that uh, variable using the length function. And I'm determining the capacity of the variable O, that is the number of memory uh, reserved for the variable O using the dot capacity function. In the meantime, I have a Google Doc, which is explaining the concept in terms of um, um, pictures. So I have this uh, heap location. So as you know, the string objects, they are also of dynamic nature. So it is stored in the heap part of the memory whereas the actual variables are stored in the stack. So the variable O, B, S, I'll talk about them in a few minutes. So let me start with the value. So this is the actual value for your understanding. Okay, so I said uh, Rachel Green, length, capacity. Let me run the script. So it says value, value is uh, Rachel Green, the string is 12, capacity is 12. So strength is 12, capacity is 12, good. Next thing I want to know is the starting address. So how do we determine the address? To find the address, I can use a function called asptr that returns the raw pointer to the underlying data. So my value variable is O. I want to know the raw pointer. So I'm using o.asptr. So it gives me a value this. It says the variable O is pointing to this memory location, this. So I'm going to take the value, copy it here, copy it here. Okay. So now you may wonder like, how do you know that this is where it's pointing to? So let's cross check it to make sure this is the address of the heap. So how do we do that? So since it starts with zero, like a D0, that's the last two characters, and it started with the Rachel. So, zero position, first position, second position, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So, I'm going to determine the value or the memory address of G. So, I can figure out like, is it all allocated in the same heap area? So, how do I do that? I do that by slicing the variable O from the location 7 to 12. So, this is the seventh location, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, that's the it ends with 11, 0 to n minus 1. On um, rest, right side is exclusive. It means 7 to 11. So determining the value of s, that is green, and getting the as PTR, the raw pointer to the underlying data. That is nothing but this. So now this is my underlying data. What I'm going to do, copy it here, copy it here. So this is D0, last two characters D7. So now this gives us an assurance that this is all in part of the heap location. Okay, so now I know the Rachel Greens is in the heap and it is pointed by the variable O, this is the pointer location, or the variable S, this is the pointer location. All good. But now this variable O is residing in a stack and it has its own memory location. Similarly, the variable s, yes, this is also in stack, it has its own memory location. So let's figure out what is the memory location of O and s. Yes. How do we do that? We can do that by using ampersand O, ampersand s, yes, and using the colon p notation. It gives me this is the memory location of O. Okay, I'm going to print this. But I want to make a note here. Regret now. O. Okay, done. Similarly, this is the memory location of yes. I'm going to copy this. Done. So this is the stack address of O, stack address of yes, and their actual value is another day, again another address which is pointing to the heap location. Okay, we are clear up to this. Now, let's get to the borrower. 
So what's a borrower? So let me call a variable B, which is a borrower of the owner O. So the owner is a O. So I'm borrowing the value from O. Okay. So I'm printing the value of B just to make sure it is the same value. Yes, it says it's a Rachel Green. All good. Now I want to find out, confirm that B is pointing to this owner. How do I do that? I'm saying borrower B points to the owner O. I'm saying like give me the value of B as a pointer. It says this is the value of B as a pointer. If you see this value, this is exactly the same value we had for that here. The stack location is same as this. So now B's value is pointing to the stack location of O. Okay. Then give me the stack location of B because B is also a variable which is also in stack. I'm saying give me the stack location of B. Is the Amazon B? It says no problem. This is where B is stored. Okay. Copy it here. Go here. So this is where B is stored. It is pointing to this. So eventually, when I printed the value of B, what did it print? It printed Rachel Green. It means this is pointed to this, this is pointed to this, and it is the Rachel Green. It means if I ask for the raw pointer location of B, it should return me this value. If it returns me this value, then it is all perfectly in sync. So here, value of B point to the location. This is B, give me the raw pointer value of B dot as PTR. What does it give me? It gives me this value. This value is nothing but the starting of the heap location. I just want to um, print it here. Watch this 0x, 0x, 5649, 5649, 8789, 8789, D9, D0, D9, D0. So now we are clear. This is the heap location. This is the owner O. In this stack, stack uh, area pointed to this and borrowed by B, which is also has the same value in this stack location, the pointer to O. So when I say give me the uh, raw value, it gives me the raw value of this. So here to here, here to here. Basically, raw value is nothing but the actual location of the heap. Okay, I hope you understood the concept of uh, heaps, stacks, how the values are all assigned. How to determine the value of a stack and how to determine the value of a heap what is the owner what is the borrower what is the slice and uh, good luck thank you for listening